Today, it looks like Christmas came early for Outlander fans, because we've finally gotten a reunion between some of our beloved stars. If you've missed it, we'll discuss Sam Hewen meeting up with Dougal and Murta, which is honestly a fever dream come true. But that's not all. It looks like it's been an emotional few weeks for the Outlander fandom. And if you want to know more about it, let's just begin. First up, we love our on-screen and off-screen besties. Honestly, for the sanity of the Outlander fandom, Sam Hewen and his co-stars Graham McTavish and Duncan LaCroix have remained close behind the scenes, even after spending years together in front of the camera for their hit series. And that, guys, is why they are definitely besties. Wouldn't you agree? Come on, who else would you spend such an insane amount of hours with and still want to hang out with? Well, that's exactly what the stars recently did as they reunited for a we're sure great meal. But the fans only really lost their collective cool when they got to see a sneak peek of the reunion on Sam's Instagram page. So everyone say thank you, Sam Hewen, for making our lives insanely chaotic in the best way. But all that said and done, it was cool for the Outlander fans to see Sam reunite with Graham and Duncan, even away from their hit stars drama, cause it shows their chemistry isn't built on anything. Though, if you're completely out of the loop about what we're talking about, firstly, how? Still, let us fill you all in. In Outlander, Hewen is best known for the role of the tough Highlander, Jamie Fraser. But if you don't catch him from there, he's also been boosting his alcohol brand, Sassanac Spirits. Again, we appreciate the fantasy touching in with his real inspo. And Graham played Jamie's uncle, Dougal McKenzie, while Duncan played his godfather, and cousin Murtaugh Fitzgibbons. Up next, it was a Michelin star feast for the boys. Well, when the gang meets up again, especially after some time, you have to go all out. Don't you think so? Cause either way, that's exactly the idea these three legends had. Not only have the three co-stars remained close outside of the incredible Outlander, but they've also recently dined at Michelin starred chef Tom Kitchen's restaurant. And if meeting up wasn't a delicious highlight in its own right, they took to Instagram to share how much fun they were having. Love that for them. Sam captioned the photos of them together. The kitchen presents a surprise. Elite tasting menu in honor of his co-star Graham. We don't know if everything was specifically to celebrate him, but honestly, if it wasn't, it deserves to be now. But of course, in that case, the food has to have been paired with some outstanding wine. And at this point, we're just getting more hungry than happy for their meetup. Especially when Sam details the dessert, which was an apple crumble with caramel sauce. Guys, come on. Loving and hating this man right now. But you can tell how much they just appreciate each other's company and that they wanted to bring in the fandom with this moment. Cause we all know how much we adore this trio, which is so wholesome. And it just goes to show through all we went on with the characters, the cast enjoyed their time working on this unique show. Following that, the fandom's explosive reactions. We're sure you can guess how quickly this post attracted you, and then how much love was poured into the comment section. But in case you forgot, let us give a little reminder. After Sam posted, which also included a video of the group enjoying a variety of their high-end dishes, the reactions were filled with hearts and a lot of how how dare you make me hungry? Again, both feelings are mutual, guys. A user replied with, yum, and I'll have some of whatever it is they're having. Another went in and said, you. I am envious. That looks beautiful. And now I'm starting to get hungry and drooling. Thanks. Well, if nothing else, this person is a proud foodie and we're here for it. Either way, you can tell that everyone's insanely happy for these guys to have reunited and have such a wonderful time with their awesome dishes. And we have Sam and Graham for making such a fun memory as they continue promoting their new book, The Clanlands Almanac, based 
on their hit docuseries, Men in Kilts. Oh yeah, and if you weren't already aware, neither of these people seem to take a break from getting into big projects. So trust us, the fact that they found time to spend together and chill on this promotion, our reaction becomes very appropriate. Let's talk about how long it is till season 2 of Men in Kilts. It's been rough trying to get through Droughtlander, but one of the shows that have been our saving grace is Men in Kilts. And now, we're just gripping onto our seats, waiting for the second season to arrive with our favorite duo. But what do we know so far? Again, Graham, while also making us incredibly hungry, does give some spoilery crumbs once in a while. So far, we know that the second season did wrap filming earlier this year. Unfortunately, that didn't mean we'd see our chaotic besties return before the year ended, cause we're still very much in Droughtlander, and there isn't even a premiere date we can freak out about yet. Still, we'll share with you all that we know so far, cause McTavish recently teased a few details about the season. Well, a very specific one. He revealed that Sam Hewen is afraid of snakes, which is not exactly what we wanted to know, but he shared this as he was discussing learning about fears of filming in New Zealand. So, if we get our detective hats on for a bit, though this isn't an uncommon phobia, we're sure that Hewen is relieved that Katrina Belf had a scene with a snake instead of him. Will you get the hint that we're putting down? With that said, it turned out to be another wonderful trip for the cast, and though he didn't yet know when season 2 was coming out, we're even more excited at this point. Next up, the Outlander fandom support is like no other, and this recent award season was just more proof of that, especially now that they've given Hewen and Mackenzie's new show the same love as the OG hit. Fans of stars hit historical drama insanely supported the co-star's journey across Scotland, and the pair have now thanked each other on Insta for all they've been able to create. Right then, someone bring in the tissues. Warning, these two are going to get too adorable. At Thursday night ceremony, the first season of their documentary project won Best Docuseries, Best Feel Good Show, and Best Lifestyle Show. Like, they came in fast and swept the floor clean. But honestly, that's going to be the case with massive hardcore fandom, who have been following the season Outlander regulars as they explored their Scottish origins in some of the most aesthetic and iconic places we've ever seen. Even if you don't know who these two are but want to be blown away by Scottish beauty, we'd recommend you check this out. Again, it's making more and more sense why the next season is so anticipated, right? But turns out, the stars were a bit shaken by the amount of support there is and took to Insta to share their sweetest reactions. Graham said in Sam's new video, Thank you. Thank you so much for this great award from the American Reality TV Awards, to which his friend added, It's a great honor, cause it's beautiful, isn't it? We agree with Graham in saying, It's incredible. Lastly, Sam and Graham's adorable moment. Yeah, you shouldn't be surprised that their interaction didn't stop at that. Of course, they continued to express their thanks to each other. Graham continued that what was even more amazing was that they were in different rooms in the same building. In his mind, this was obviously being kept separately to take some time and relax, and in Graham's mind, so that he could regain his sanity. Again, anyone with best friends would get that. It's true. Still, after the jokes were said and done, they thanked the rest of the crew and everyone who believed in them and voted for their little show. But then, Sam said, thank you, Graham. Even if that was the last time he said it, you'll tell he was being genuine at that moment. Still enough of his friend to quickly tell his co-star, trying to return the message, to keep the noise down. And this, our dear friends, is a beautiful example of why we need this chaotic dynamic back as soon as possible. That's a wrap on this video. Let us know your guys' reaction to this iconic trio meeting up again. And come on, tell us we weren't alone in having our attention divided because of how good the food looked. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.